Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL and Happy New Year. You know, when I got here this morning, I kind of expected this one to be dressed like a baby, Baby New Year, but he has literally every prop in our office on his person at the moment. Happy New Year! Oh yeah, sorry. Hey, what's going on? Morning, morning. Happy have, did you have a late one last night? What are you doing here? I work here. Why are you in my bed? <laughs> What's going on? How did you get here this morning? I, I got mag what, what? That Santa's, Santa's magic Hold sleigh. Come here. Come here. Come here. You ready? What? Ow! <laughs> uh, you're mean. Who duct Happy 2024 to you too. Who duct taped your mouth shut? <laughs> What I did, know why what, they did it, but What did, did you do? It? Look, what, what is all this? Um, What'd you do to me? I know why they duct taped your mouth shut, but who did it? I don't know. Do I owe them money? I'm assuming you did it, so you must have put a hit out of me or something. Oh, no. Thanks I, a lot. I would have duct taped you better than that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this is how he's going to choose to start off 2024. Right. Got it. There we go. Oh, wow, that hair looks good. Thank now, you. you may not remember, a few weeks ago, we had a discussion that the TV people would probably like for you to stop throwing things around the TV set. I'm not hitting anybody. Well, who am I going to hurt? It's, it's, it's fabric. It's plastic. So I guess, I'm guessing you're... Am I like some sort of superhero or something? Yes. Oh, yes, uh, Captain, you are. Captain, Captain, oof. Let's go up to the roof and see if you can fly. <laughs> WKRP in Cincinnati, <laughs> which is a perfect tie-in to our guest today, isn't it not? It is. I know. We've Ooh, got some segue. old school radio people with us today, <laughs> and they're some of our favorite people. Really? Don't call her old. I said old school. Oh, old school. Sorry. Sorry, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was I was standing up for you. She is not old, but she has tons and tons and tons of radio experience, and so does Bill, and so does Nate. So it's going to be a great... Welcome to the new year, Mix 96, right? Can I get a chaser or something? I need coffee, um, anything. Wow, last night was a lot. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Um, okay, well, yeah, let's break. Hey, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Come on, yeah. Are Here we going, go. Are you going to like, declutter something before our guests? I don't on? know what, I don't know how I got into this. How am I supposed to know this stuff? That's a very good <sighs> question. Okay. Like I said, my question is, do I, do I owe her? Oh, her I know who did. Lisa did. Lisa, she was so mad at me. She did it. That's all right. I got you. That's okay. I, I'll remember. What's that direct deposit code for your paycheck? Oh, I don't remember. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> wow. So as you can see, 2024 is off to, I'm not even used to saying 2024 yet. <laughs> 2020. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> 2024 is off to a fantastic start. We're going to have some our friends from Mix 96 on to talk about the new year, new year stuff, what's coming up. Resolutions? Oh, we've got to do resolutions. I think I need some. You need several things. I know. So Everybody. we will see you guys in just a few minutes. See you, Zach. Have you listened to Mix 96.9? The 80s, 90s, and more with the best variety. Mix 96.9. Fun and upbeat. Mix 96.9. The best variety of 80s, 90s, and more. Mix 96.9. Stomp, January 26th through 27th. Von Braun Center, Huntsville. Get tickets at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. Andrew is much less cluttered now and much more... Uh, cluttered? Yes, I, you I just, were very cluttered. I just need to be freshened up. I'm fine. I'm good. Happy New Year, everybody. So good to see you. Happy New Year. See what, you know, a little quick little costume change does, and I'm just perfectly fine and brand new for 2024. And we're welcoming back for the second time to be on our show. Can y'all believe we've made it three seasons? No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. I, I can believe it. You guys do a great show. I love it. I DVR it. <laughs> Really does. Oh, do. he really you does. want your teeth to fall out That's already? <laughs> no. So apparently, Abby and Bill's New Year's resolution is to suck up to us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, guys. It's awesome. Yeah, so... Uh, Anyhow, tell the world who you are. 
We'll oh, go ahead. Well, I'm Abby Kay with Mix 96.9. and this I am is, Bill Taylor yeah. with Mix 96.9. Yeah, we do the most music morning show. Are you guys married? Day. No. We are not. Oh, but I... Her, oh. she has a different I have bill. my bill. Oh, And then okay. there's this bill. Yes. Okay, so... Yeah. Yes. 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 Does that not get confusing? Uh, oh. Uh, sometimes when she talks about her husband on the air, she has to say my bill. My oh. bill. Yes. My bill. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, was like, I thought your husband's name was Bill, and I was it like, is. his name is Bill. And I, yeah. when, when did you get married? No. no. Okay. <laughs> your wife's name is Cindy. Yes. yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. I, I listen sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but having the morning show is kind of like being married, though, isn't it? It kind of is, in, yeah. In, in many ways, mm -hmm. yes. And I will say, from our experience doing this little <laughs> show, uh -huh. Which we do one day a week. We don't do it every day. It's kind of like, it's kinda like you guys are married. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh Lord. Yeah. <laughs> that explains. Honey, I need toilet paper. <laughs> it is so funny because I come into work every morning because I get up so early. I don't do the makeup and the hair and all that kind of stuff. So he has to see me. You look just great. like I look when I get out of bed. <laughs> so it is kind of like we're married. And what's your beauty routine for her every morning? My beauty routine for her? Yeah. Oh. No, for you, for her. Don't look oh. good for her. Yeah, on, a, on a good day, I'll shave. <laughs> <laughs> he does make the coffee, though. Yes. Every morning. Thank you. Okay. God bless you. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Oh. you know, Where's my coffee over here? I'm. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't drink coffee. Do you not? What? No, <laughs> That's the reaction I get from Really? Me. I don't know how you survive <laughs> yeah. without coffee. Especially when we're filming a TV show at 6 o'clock in the morning. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a little early. I just tell you. Which, speaking of which, who's on air right now for y'all if y'all are here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it live it's or is it Memorex? Okay. Right, top secret. Top secret. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, how did it feel to switch off the Christmas music? To switch off the Christmas music? <laughs> <laughs> what, you, you want to know our real feelings about Christmas music? <laughs> no, no. It was a, it's a tough thing to shut it off. Yeah. It? Yeah, mm -hmm. because, you know, that's, that's it. Christmas music is warm, friendly, fun, brings back lots of memories. You know, you think of food, you think of gifts. Does it make you slow down a little bit and reflect and be like, mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. It so, does a so little bit. You guys don't know the backstory of this. Remember when we brought the Beetlejuice cast in to interview oh, yeah. with y'all? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of them, she absolutely loved that your station played all Christmas music. Oh, really? And she listened to it the entire time she was here. <laughs> That's I love that. That, that, yes. was, that was her jam yeah. was the Christmas music. Yeah. So at the station this Christmas, was there any particular moments or meeting someone or a winner or something or something in the parade that really touched you or you know kind of brought it home for you this year for the holidays yeah no it's time with the kids okay honestly. yeah I okay mean, yeah mm -hmm. it's, it's Christmas morning opening the gifts especially now that I, I got one that's married now moved out my daughter moved out you got what yeah I know my oldest is married now you're like not you're not even 40 yet <laughs> God bless you how much do I owe you <laughs> Ben? The Venmo will get it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we do this Christmas contest, 12 yes. days of giveaways, that's right. and, and that's fun. And it's okay. really fun to see the winners come in. And of course, it's fun to give away these great prizes. And, you know, it's a and good the, feeling. Yeah, and, and I mean, the, and the parade, too, is just like. Oh, yes, big the parade. Yeah, yes. I mean, yes. I mean, that is truly special for everybody and so much in the community. I mean, so when the community sees you, are you like, do you have to have like security? Are you like rock stars? Oh, please. <laughs> I am security. Not hardly, yeah. <laughs> she's the one with the fans. Oh, she's your Beyonce. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. Oh, there Beyonce. we go. Right. Yes. <laughs> Something like that. Yes. She's the <laughs> So what's happening for in the new year here? What's uh, going on? What are we going to do? We're going to do a lot of what we love to do. Playing a lot of great music. Spin some tunes. Yep, yeah, spin, spin a lot tunes. of tunes. Yeah. Going to do old school style. We are mm -hmm. old school. We go wiki 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 wiki. Yeah, no. yes. Oh my oh. goodness. Hopefully you're going to interview Richard Thomas about To Kill a Mockingbird. Of course. Oh, that's love yes. cool coming up. Yes. Hey, that yep. would be fantastic. We can that set it up fantastic. right now if you want. To. Maybe we can bring some guys. We well, can set it up, but Richard Thomas can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's actually in Canada. Should we oh, bring should we bring the guys over from Stomp and let them like bum, 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 yeah. Oh yes. Bum, bum, bum. We've that had be them fun. in before and it was amazing. Just from amazing. From yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll yes. be like, mm -hmm. huh, we gotta do that. I say, you're not cheap on me. I've right? been around for a few years, so you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've done a few things. A few right? things. A few, right. a few. A few. Right. So it's it's funny. The first time we had Stomp here, I didn't really know what it was, and mm -hmm. I thought it was an angry version of rent. Uh <laughs> <laughs> 
I, had to tell I didn't do a very good job in the interview stuff. process, did I? <laughs> <laughs> you hired him? <laughs> Oops. I think it's time for my stress rehab facial mask. Coconut and caffeine. Yes. yes. Coconut and Better caffeine. Duct tape. Mm. Do this. You did? I knew you. <laughs> Put that on him, will you? No, please. Here, no, let's get this. <laughs> party, oh then, party then, rehab now. Coconut, green tea, and caffeine. Well, at least wow. somebody left me something to you know, feel better with today after last night. I mean. Stress. Oh, it is 100% vegan and cruelty free. Well, there you go. So, do I eat it? It's going to so weird. No, please don't eat on it. On the plus side of <laughs> Peter this week. <laughs> Yay! So, January 1st, are we into our resolutions now? or? Oh, yes. Well, you got to be, right? Oh, so, exactly. Yes. What are your resolutions? Oh, well, I think my New Year's resolution this year is going to be to eat more tacos. I'm going to eat more tacos. Yeah, pl more than just okay. <laughs> one. Right. Is, is it like a is it like a, a vitamin thing? Is like one a day or? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be. Ooh. Good. Yeah. That Ooh, a taco are, a day. Keeps I could still, probably do that. A taco. What, what what would a taco a day keep away? I, I think a taco a day would keep you full of tums. What <laughs> <laughs> depends what kind of tacos you're eating. Just saying. Okay. Kind of dangerous things. So, Bill, what's your oh, resolution oh. going to be? Uh, my goal this year is ten thousand steps a day. Ah, okay. so he's going to do healthy. Do it. All right. So, so that's what I hear under the table. You're, you're yes. under, he's under the table going. Duh, 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 duh. I'm like, what so is? We've that? got to cut to a break now and bring bring in Nate. Well, we're not going to get your six. resolutions. So you'll have to be over there in the studio the audience to hear our resolutions. Because oh. we've got to get Nate Bam. first. We don't okay. want to give him any ideas. Yeah. So thank you guys for being on. It flew. Oh, no. It flew by, didn't oh, it? Oh my goodness, yes. Always, so always. Yes. We will see you guys in just a few minutes. See you in a second. The Deep Comics and Games has the largest selection of comics, board games, toys, and collectibles in North Alabama. With thousands of comics arriving weekly, choose from the classics by DC and Marvel to the newest generation of heroes. Offering comics in every genre, The Deep has a comic for everyone. Selling your collection? The Deep is always buying and will give you the most cash for your stash. The Deep Comics and Games, 2310 South Memorial Parkway, just south of Office Depot. Richard Thomas is Atticus Finch in Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. February 16th through 18th. Learn more at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. We have gone from Bill and Abby to Nate Adams from Mix 96. Good morning, sir. How are you? Great to be here. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yes, yes, yes. You were also a repeat customer on Earth. That is true. I love coming on the show. You know, I still talk about the last time you were here because oh. remember we talked about what goes into making the Christmas list on the radio. And as far did, as musically, right. the yes. songs yeah. that make the list. We never thought we mm -hmm. could turn an entire segment into Christmas music list, but we did. We did, and well, I mean, there's, well, there's only so many Christmas songs. There's just a lot of different versions of Christmas songs, and mm. everybody has their favorites, and everybody has the traditions, and, oh, I remember listening to this whenever we were going to Grandma's house, and, you know, and mm. that's what they want to hear. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we asked Bill and Abby what their favorite moment from Mix 96 Christmas was, the parade, the Christmas music, being out in the community. What was your favorite um, thing that happened? You know, it is really cool and emotional <clears throat> to see the families all getting together at the parade, sitting outside watching the parade. That's great. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you guys do the pictures with Santa. And standing at the front of the stage at Mars Music Hall, and there was this one little kid. I mean, he probably was one. And this kid had the, I mean, he had cheeks this big, chubby cheeks, and he just was sitting on Santa's lap, and then <laughs> had wanted nothing to do with Santa. And I remember just saying, and the photographer is taking pictures, and you're trying to take pictures and get the right, and, and like, can you smile? Can you smile? And he did not flinch. He just, <laughs> so it's moments like that. And you're like, man, I mean, that, that, people that, are having fun. That entire parade that night, everything that goes into it. I mean, the BBC with everything you guys do and all the sponsors and everything, it just feels like warm, fuzzy, comfortable, and just the best Christmas spirit. It is. I mean, and you know, uh, the BBC does a great job. Mm -hmm. You guys do a great job dressing up and, you know, just brings all that feel to it. And, you, you know, seeing kids walk in and going, wow, you yes, know, exactly. I mean, that's exactly. pretty cool. It was seeing me in the Santa Bucky. <laughs> he thinks everybody wants to look at his butt. <laughs> not, not my butt, my tail. 
Not every day you get a tail. It looks like a flag. deflated flat butt. That's what it looks like. Well, I hate to tell you, Will, not, not everybody. I was not, <laughs> not everybody can carry that look off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was there not on that list. <laughs> so um, last night, New Year's Eve, today's New Year's Day, did you wake up better than me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ours was pretty mild with, with three kids at home. You know, it, it, it's pretty mild. So... Um, <laughs> Well, you so know, you were passed out by that's nine, not right? That's for three kids at Hey, I'm, I'm glad that it's delayed or, you know, that we can watch it at 11 o'clock and it not really be midnight, you know. In, <laughs> yes. So we just, you know, change all the clocks in the house and trick the kids and they really well, think... Time for bed. It's really think it's midnight and it's really only 11 o'clock. So what's exciting new coming in 2024 for you, the station... I mean, everybody at Mix. You know, there there are so many great things. I know you guys got a great season that's that's coming up. Um, okay. Between we're we're excited to sponsor To Kill a Mockingbird. Yes. Um, Legendary. The 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 station the our station owner is very passionate about mm. that uh, about that play and that book. So she was, you know, right out of the get go. That's the show she wanted to do. So I mean, there's a lot of exciting things that are that are coming as far as. And as far as on the radio station side, we're, you know, we're looking forward to getting back in what we call mixing at work. Right. Uh, that's where we go into businesses, and if they're listening to the radio station, we hand out $100 bills. I mean, it's that simple. So that when you say that, and Andrew and I have this discussion all the time, we go in more stores where Mix 96 is playing than any other, be it another station or serious or anything. Mix 96 is the Radio station that plays in stores in the Tennessee Valley. Yeah, and, and that's a great thing, except when you're giving out $100 bills, you know, <laughs> to people that are mixing at work. So uh, You didn't sign up for this gig to be a sugar daddy, did you? <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's just fun. And, when you know, when that's a cool thing. When you walk in or Bill and Abby walk in um, and surprise somebody and just say, hey, we noticed you're mixing uh, at work, you know, and you hand them $100, and they're like, is this real? Do you know, excuse me, do, do you not know my address? <laughs> Because I know darn good and well I ain't never seen somebody in my office offer me no hundred dollars. Just saying. Your, your taste in music is more eclectic than what Nick plays. They're, they're fully aware of my taste. I, they, I, it goes across the spectrum all over the world, up and down, back, backwards and forwards. I got all kinds of tastes. Oh, maybe we should get security to have the cameras. <laughs> security! Mix. Security! Then we flip it on. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. You yeah, yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah, yeah. So, we asked Bill and Abby. Oh, I already New know Year's going. resolutions. You've had time to think about it. I know. You're sitting over there watching. Uh, or maybe, no, 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 no. I think Bill Taylor should say what Nate Adams' New Year's resolution should be. So what should it be, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be more money for the staff is what it's going to be. <laughs> you heard it here, live. Hey, that would be a, that would be a great thing to do for everybody because <laughs> God knows they deserve it. You so. want to know, you want to know something? Yeah. That is something that I know that in our hearts, you and I can identify with so much. But you put so much in everything that you do every day for the station, mm -hmm. for for Penny, for for the people that that work with you, and they give always give give give, and and you can't wait to be able to go back and give back to them. That's a hundred percent true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm sure I'm sure your staff is the same way between your volunteers. To all the people that wear the the BTL red vest, yes. you know, and yes. you're like, uh, you know, you want to do more, and sometimes you just can't. But I understand when you can, you, you do got it. you you, you got to do, do it. Yes, absolutely. So you're not getting out of telling us your red oh, vest. Oh yeah, no, no. I, <laughs> honestly, mine mine is kind of lame. Um, it's more of a, a family. I need to be off the phone when I pull in the driveway. Ooh. Okay. Does that make sense? That's because the yes. kid the kids come outside. They want to, you know, dad's home, and you got to be. Off the phone. So, you know, growing up, when you're eating dinner, there was no, well, of course, we didn't have cell phones. Correct. <laughs> but there was no answering the phone or anything. Yep. Let and, it ring. And one of my friends, he has taken and implemented that with his family, no phones at the dinner table or anything. It's and a good rule. They like it much better. I good think rule. we're way too dependent on them. That's so for sure. we know you have to get somewhere, so we will let you go. You can sit over there and watch what our resolutions are going to be as we close <laughs> out. I'm excited to hear it. Oh. We will see you guys in just a few minutes. Anyway. Buying or selling your home, why not trust a legend? Huntsville Native Care and Farrell can make the process fun, exciting, and easy. Enjoy the biggest investment of your life. Call a legend, Karen Farrell of Legend Realty, 468-4626, or find her on Facebook. You heard it was a hit. You heard it was a smash. A wonder. 
a phenomenon, an international sensation, but you haven't heard them. Stomp, January 26th through 27th. Von Braun Center, Huntsville. Get tickets at broadwaytheaterleague.org. Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. I wish you would not play music that gets a copyright infringement every time you do it when we try to put it on YouTube. What? Oh, are we it's, live? It's the technical sides of things that get you sometimes, isn't it? I just want to have a good time. I know you want to have a good time. Thank you. And I'm just getting my, my mind ready. I'm getting myself I, ready. Believe it or not, I even understand the symbolism of your glasses. What are they? Oh, wow. Oh, they're glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I can see now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'll, I'll save those for the beach. Right. Because you were getting ready to go to your happy place. My happy place. In just under happy New three Year. weeks. Uh, three just under three weeks, isn't it? Uh, 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 no, I will be there on the beach January 10th. Oh. Oh, I'm thought Next week. <laughs> Thank you. For some reason, I thought it was January 20th. Huh. No, I got, I got a board meeting that day, I think. Anyhow, okay. am I invited? You've been invited 20 damn times. And everything. Don't oh, use <laughs> curse words. That's not on a curse word. Show. <sighs> We're not blocking up any rivers, so that's a curse word. <laughs> Okay, are next. You, how are you you on, just ruined my, my happy time. Okay. How did I ruin your happy time? Because I was in a mood and I had my music going and then I got eee! So, back to this duct tape situation. Yeah, you want, you got, you have, Lucy, you got some splaining to do. Oh no, I would have duct taped you much better than that. So, who did it? So is it going to be like oh. the rest of the season long game of Clue to Clue, figure out yes. who duct taped was it? his mouth? Was it Kevin in the bathroom with the duct tape? Or was it Santa on the roof with the duct tape? Or was it Abby in the library with the duct tape? Hard telling. All I know is last night was a crazy wild party. I'm thankful to be here today, and I'm surprised. Oh, wow. I'm a little rough. So lots of exciting things coming up for BTO this year. I know. You know, we're happy. Going to St. John. Yes, you're going to St. John. I'm going to St. John. How long are you staying for? A week? I'm going to St. John. Uh, besides going to St. John. Yes. We're going to stomp it. We're stomp gonna it. Stomp. Yes. And we're going to, to kill a mockingbird. Ooh. Actually, I guess we shouldn't kill a mockingbird. I got to learn to act right for that one. Whew. Can't be a hot mess. Then. <clears throat> I wonder if Richard Thomas is going to be all professorly to you. Mm. Oh, yes. And give you well. the barber thing. Ooh, the barber. Yeah, the barber current. <laughs> Bam. Um. Uh, and then we've got some Jesus Christ Superstar. How about some Simon and Garfunkel, too? Oh, yeah, Simon and Garfunkel. Boom, boom, boom. Experience. Yes, yes. Tells you their life and ends in Central Park. And then, Jesus Christ Superstar. Do they really do that in the show? I don't know. They do something like that. Oh. I, that Lisa, what like do they do? Huh? They, that kind of looked like Superman. Superman. Da, da, da. Hmm. And then? <laughs> Pretty woman walking down the street. Yeah. Going shopping, I'm Abby. Not, I'm not much. What, of a where's our shopping spree going to be? Where are we going? Oh, let's go to Macy's. Macy's. Wow. Okay. That's, that's going to be a big tab. <laughs> She's got fancy. She looks expensive. I know. <laughs> Isn't that a song? It's funny though. Bill looks a little more expensive. <laughs> oh no, no! It's the toys are in the garage that make Bill expensive. Oh. <laughs> uh. And also, somewhere before that, we're probably going to have a new season announcement, aren't we? Bam, 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 New season, 24-25, the golden year. The gold, why is it the golden year? Why? Why is it the golden year? You should know this. Are you getting peed on? <laughs> you better. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was priceless just to see everyone's reaction. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Paybacks are hell. Stop saying curse words. <laughs> you're, you're the editor. <laughs> because, because everyone knows this, and you're the last one to know. 2425, what is the big monumental occasion? Oh, the BBC. Turn 50. Thank yes. you. Yes. It's going to be the golden year for them and us. Oh, is 50 the golden year? Isn't it? 
75, 50, I don't know, platinum, gold, diamonds. All I know is it's expensive. Yes. But it, it's expensive to be me. And the BBC's got all kind of cool things. And we're going to have some pretty big shows. Can't Damn. say them yet. No, no. But there's a certain soundtrack people should be picking up. They, one, no, once they list, start listening to this soundtrack, it's going to be wormhole through everybody's head. Actually, there's a couple of them that are just going to really wormhole. You know? There's some favorites coming, and there's some new stuff coming. Look out. So. Yes. Resolution? We're about to have to wrap, wrap it up. Okay. So what is your <laughs> New Year's resolution? Woo, uh, to keep myself in check. <laughs> You've already failed. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Thank you! Hey, I'm here all week. And you just got started. <laughs> uh, but nobody's offering me no TV contract, record deals, or anything like that. I mean, I'm out, obviously, I must not be doing too much right. I'm just out here acting a fool for nobody but me. <laughs> <laughs> but believe it or not, Somebody asked me if I'm Will from Show and Tell with BTL, and I'm like, uh, are you a stalker? <laughs> well, there's only 10 viewers, so, I mean, it's probably pretty easy to narrow them down, and I think three of the viewers are here. No, there's four here, so, <laughs> hmm, I think it's Santa Bob. Oh. Ooh, ooh, Santa Bob's your stalker. Santa! So there's actually a documentary called Stalking Santa, and it's these guys that follow Santa around. Oh, God. It's pretty funny. Make it stop. When, when, when one of your best friends is a Santa, you have all kind of Santas. Resolution. Bam. Resolution. Uh, you know, last year I said my resolution was just to be a better version of myself. Okay. And I will say that again this year, but I'm also going to say I'm going to be with Bill and take more steps because in just three months from now we're marching across the desert. You better, you better, you better, you better, you better high five the hell out of me right now. What do we both know until you hear it? What do we both need to do and we do together? All, used to do it all the time. What do we do? Oh, uh, ride, ride bikes. We need to ride bikes. It's got to warm up some first. Boom. <laughs> it's got to warm up some first. Boom. Ride them bikes. Yes. So, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, Woo! -hoo! Live long and prosper. Is that what it is? Oh, just make yourself happy. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you, especially to close the show. Yes, so, you would. Yes, you would. Happy New Year, everyone out there. <laughs> Look forward to big things with Broadway Theater League, the BBC 50th anniversary, and Mix 96, rocking at work. There we go. And we will see you guys. I need my 100 bucks. See you later.